Hey everyone, how's it going? So I have a lot of fun doing all the different dinosaurs from the Jurassic World Evolution game. And I thought it'd be fun to show you guys today how to draw a level 40 Scorpius Rex from the Jurassic World, the game. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our level 40 Scorpius Rex, let's begin with the face. So I'm going to start right up here and we're going to begin by drawing a little line that's just going to go down and it's going to come back in a check mark shape. Next we're going to make a little curved line for the eye. Starting here we're going to draw a little line that's going to go up and then come down here. Then we want to add some little curved lines underneath the eye. Now, starting about here, I'm going to add a little line, so it's going to come down, and it's going to kind of hook down. Then we're going to draw a line that's just going to come up here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down, it's going to go up, and then back down for the mouth. Then we're going to bring this line up. It's going to come down to here, and then it's going to curve around. We'll add a little curved line right in there. Next, we're going to draw. start here. We're going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to go over, and then it's going to come up here. Now when we get up here to the nose, we want to make a line that's going to come up and then down, kind of like a point. His whole body is going to be nothing but these really big spikes. So we're going to go up and then down here. And we're going to continue this right along the back here. So as we come along here, we're just going to be making some more of these kind of pointed little lines. Almost looks like some armor plating. Now I want to add some teeth, so we're going to add some long, sharp, pointy teeth on the top and on the bottom as well. We're going to add a little curved line right here, and a little line is going to come down and around here. I'm also going to make a little line that's going to come out here for some detail. Now starting here, we're going to add a couple little curved lines by the neck. And we're going to add a little line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down. Now starting here, we want to work more on the back. So it's going to be more of these big spikes. So we're going to be making some more lines that are just going to come up and down. And they're just going to be really pointy. So we're just going to be making these get a little bit pointier as they get farther along on the back. And we're just going to keep adding some of these points. Now once we get to about here, then we're going to start making them a little bit smaller and a little bit farther apart. Then I'm going to keep adding these just a little bit farther apart, I'm going to start curving some of them up too, and I'm going to bring them right to about there. Then I'm going to make this tail nice and skinny, and as it slowly starts to come back towards the body, it's going to get bigger. Now let's work on the arms. So starting up here, we're going to draw a long line that's going to come down and then we're going to angle it down to here. We're going to curve this line around to a point and then bring it back. And then we're going to curve it up here. I'll add another little point here, another little line out here for some more detail. Then we're going to bring this line back up here and we're going to angle it up here. We're going to bring this line in. Now starting about here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and that's going to angle back. Then we're going to bring it straight down here. 
Make a long pointed curvy line. Then we're gonna make a few more pointed lines here. Bring this line up and over. And we're gonna curve this line over. And we're gonna bring this line to about here for the leg. Then we're just gonna connect this. And I'm gonna bring the tail over to here. I want it to be a little bit bigger. Now over here we'll add another arm. So we're just gonna add another line that's gonna come out. It's gonna come down and it's gonna come to a point and back. I'm gonna bring this up and then I'm gonna have a little line that's gonna come out here. Then we're gonna bring this back up here. We'll add another little pointed line out here. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and back. Then we're gonna angle it down. This time we'll add a big claw on the inside and then a couple more little small claws on the outside. Then I'm gonna take this line, I'm gonna bring it up to a point and in. And then we're gonna bring it up here. Next, I wanna start adding some of those big spikes that it has. So it's gonna have these long, kind of pointed, really skinny spikes on here. So we're just gonna add some of these long pointed spikes. And we wanna make them different sizes so they look a little bit more realistic. And then right here on the tail, there's gonna be some of these as well. So we wanna add some more of these kind of pointed spike shapes all along the tail. And add a couple little lines right along the arms for some details. Then I like to add a few little lines kind of by the knees and even on the elbows too. We can put a few little lines in here. And I'm gonna make a little line over here with a couple little broken lines right along the mouth. We're gonna add some little curved lines onto the toes and some up here because the Scorpius Rex has really long claws. And then we can always just kind of come in here and add a few little extra details kind of all over. You can make some extra lines on these spikes just to add a little bit of detail and maybe a nice little long kind of broken line along here. And there you go. There is your drawing of the level 40 Scorpius Rex. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.